Hello, it's Sue Staff here with you to go through the contents of the March Paper Pumpkin. And the name is Memorable Meadows. And this is March of 2024. So I like to go through and show you the contents. And then I freeze my camera and will prepare the cards and also do some alternative options for you. And that works best for me because I can show you what you can do. So if you watch clear through to the end of the video, you'll get some great ideas for some of the cards and how to use some of the uh, contents alternatively. So this is the box. This is a subscription that comes once a month delivered right to your house and it has everything you need to make the projects. And I love these box. They're great for storage. I keep them and I use them for to wrap presents and all kinds of good stuff. So each month we get what's called a Stampin' Spot and this month the color is Garden Green. So if you subscribe to the full year, you'll end up with 12 different colors in your stash. So it's a good thing. And they do last a long time. And it looks like we have a bonus this month. We have two stamp sets in here. One beautiful flower with leaves and a stem. And this one with some words on it. I'll get a piece of paper to put behind here so you can see it a little better. Uh, the flower... Oops. The flower looks like that, and this is the words, and one says heartfelt thanks, the other says, boy, it's hard to read upside down, <laughs> inside out or however that is, um, hmm, it's got me buffaloed. I'll have to read that to you once I get it opened in here, but there's also another flower here. Beautiful blue tissue paper. That's always something else you can reuse or use as part of the cards. And I'll set that aside. And I will open this up for you and I'll show you what those contents are. And the instructions are in here too and they do a nice visual for you you don't have to read through 20 pages of instructions like you do in some craft sites but this has cardboard backing and then this is the instruction sheet and it looks like this month we're going to be making three different cards and we have three of each so we have nine cards this month we're going to be making and I love the color in here the purple is just gorgeous and oh here's what's in the they put in a nice sheet that shows you what the stamp set is so this one says have a beautiful birthday and this one says it's the little things that matter and this is that heartfelt thanks and this one says you've been on my mind and so you can see why I had a hard time reading that upside down and backwards because they it's on there every which way. <laughs> but these flowers are really pretty and I like that single one for on the inside of my cards or on the outside of the envelope. I like to stamp those parts too. So let's go through and see what the instructions look like. As I mentioned, they are nice pictures and they show you what to do with the contents of the package. And it also gives you on the back, it gives you a look at, or on the front, it gives you a look at what the cards look like. But on the back, it gives some alternatives and it gives you a list of the components for the uh, kit, nine cards and nine envelopes. And it also lists coordinating colors that go with this set. And it looks like it's almost everything that we offer. <laughs> Balmy blue, basic black, berry burst, daffodil delight, early espresso, fresh freesia, garden green, gorgeous grape, granny apple green, mossy meadow, night of navy, old olive, petal pink, pretty peacock, and very vanilla. That's a mouthful. <laughs> and then there's the alternative options. And there is a site that you can go to, thepaperpumpkinhowto.com. 
um, for detailed instructions if you prefer, if you feel better reading rather than looking at pictures. I like the picture option because quite honestly, it's quicker. And you know me, I like quick, <laughs> I like fast. Okay, so in our embellishments this month, we have dots. Beautiful, look like holographic dots with the different colors on them. And our dimensionals, we get a little pack of dimensionals, and then these are the glue dots that we can use. And they're uh, double-sided adhesive dots. And this is the, oh, look at these pretty images. Oh, and this is actually, oh. Now you know I'm gonna cut this apart and use it for at least two cards, maybe three or four. <laughs> so we have one, two, three of those. So there's a lot of cards that we can make right there. And then there's envelopes. And if you recall, we have nine envelopes and they're coordinating with the cards. And here's another one. And this one also has the image clear across. Now this would be the front and back of the card, or like I say, you can cut this apart in any fashion and make multiple cards. So there's six, and then this is the one for the ninth. Look at that beautiful sky. How peaceful is that? So again, look at all this beautiful images you have. And then you have some punch outs, which are these look like labels for your cards, and they always give you one or two extra on this so that if you're making multiple cards out of these, like most of us demonstrators do, you can use uh, it on the extra cards. And this shape is like an oval cut in half, and it has the gold trim on it. And then these are uh, banners that have the gold trim on it, so. Very nice and I mean, just a classy look with that gold line there. And I think I got four of those, so there's four of each. Ooh, and look at this. It's a wood look. Well, isn't that different? And they punch out also. Wow. We haven't done these in a long time, but you can see they're like a wood chip. Um, there may be an eighth of an inch thick. We have three trees and six of the plants. Wow, that's amazing. I like those. That gives you a real nice sturdy feeling whenever you open that card, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> so like I say, we've got, oh, oh, I just broke one of them. I guess you gotta be careful when you get these out. Learn from my mistakes, please. <laughs> okay. Yeah, if you poke them out, they come right out. I was trying to pull them out, okay? And then we have the punch outs that are the deep purple, and these would go behind your sentiments or to decorate your card. And there's six of that size, the oblong, and then there's three of these. So there's one for each card in your group of nine for this kit. Again, this is March of 2024, Paper Pumpkin. The kit gets delivered right to your home, and if you'd like to subscribe, it's about $25 a month. That includes postage, and I'd be happy to help you with that if you need assistance, or you can go straight to my website. I am at suestap.stampinup.net. Uh, if you have a question, you can email me at suestap1 at gmail.com. And I'll be back with some alternatives and one of each of the cards to show you. Uh, hang tight, and I'll be back. Hi there, Sue Stapp back with you. Um, to show you the cards for the from the March... 2024 paper pumpkin and I, I mentioned to you that there's nine card kits in here and you get three of each of these this is the first one that they picture it says heartfelt thanks 
The second one says, You've Been On My Mind, and I just love this paper. It's so beautiful. And this next one says, Have a Beautiful Birthday. So each one uses the chipboard pieces, and I've used a couple of those in my alternatives too. So I wanted to show you the alternatives, and then I'm gonna show you how I go about putting these together. Just a quick one. Um, so let me get to it here. The first one I did, now to begin with, what I use are my scraps that I have left over in my uh, folder of different color card stocks, and I will sometimes use a ribbon or a punch. In this case, I used a, a retired punch, the birthday candles, and I also used the uh, double butterfly punch uh, on this one. And you can tell I just put some strips across here. These little dots um, are one of the stamps in the set. So I just did those in the purple and the green and have a beautiful birthday. And I put some of those beautiful iridescent sequins on there and that little butterfly in the corner. So simple and easy uh, on a white cardstock piece. And the next one is the big image that is on the stamp set. And if you recall, we got two stamp sets this month. And this is the first one. The second one has sentiments and a small flower on it. And so this was that. And if you look real close, you can see that I have put the uh, Wink of Stella Shimmer on there. And these are from that birthday candle punch that I just showed you. I punched them out and then I just drew little flames above them, blew them on the cardstock. So that's another one. This one says, it's the little things that matter. And this is the single flower I was telling you about that's on the second stamp set. And I'm gonna show you that in just a second. These were some scraps of that paper that I had after I cut out. And this one says, have a beautiful birthday. And what I did was I cut a bunch of strips because you'll see in one of the cards I'm gonna show you in a minute that the strips were used uh, just to make a strip card. So have a beautiful birthday. I framed it in the purple that's in the kit. And then this one says, you've been on my mind. And I used uh, the center side of the part that had the trees. And then I put some of the ribbon around here. And in my stash, I keep ribbons that I'm reasonably sure that I'm gonna use again. I keep those in my stash, even if they've retired, I like to use them. Now here's the strip card. I took uh, two pieces of the DSP that's in the kit and made strips out of them half inch wide and put them on this card. And it says it's the little things that matter. And I added the tree. <laughs> this one, this is another retired punch that I just love. I use it frequently. It says have a beautiful birthday. And on this I did four squares and if you notice, if you punch out, if you round out the corners on the squares, just on two sides, it makes this kind of elliptical look. I like, it looks like it has some movement. So that's what I did on that one. This one, I took a triangle of one of the cards and that's easy to do in your paper trimmer. Just put the card on the line and run it down there. And you can see, I also put some of that Wink of Stella on this card too. And this one says, heartfelt thanks. This one, I used the envelope. This one and the next one, I used the inside of the envelope. And this one says, you've been on my mind. This is that single flower that's in the stamp set. And I put a bunch of the sequins across here because that's where the gummed part of the envelope is. And I didn't want it sticking to the envelope whenever I put it in. So I moistened it a little bit, let it dry so it wasn't tacky, and then put the sequins on. And you've been on my mind is on that one. This is the other part of the inside of that envelope. This one also says, you've been on my mind, and I put one of those little butterflies. I drew the antennae, and uh, this is one of the purple pieces. So these are just some ideas that you can use. I wanna show you how I cut the envelope, though, 
and I'm not sure if this will all be in my screen, so I will put it as much as I can. Um, I take the envelope, let's see if I can move this up a little bit. I take the envelope and on the sides, I just cut off less than a half inch. And that's enough to take the glued part off where they glue the envelope together. And I do that on both sides. I'll do it up here so you can see it. I end up with a little strip from the envelope, like so. And I'm not gonna use that. That's one of the things I'm gonna put in my trash bin. But if you look at this, this is all that paper I was telling you about. Now, if I cut this down here on that line, I put it right in the top and the bottom of my paper trimmer and another scrap paper. And on this one, um, I can use all or part of this or divide it up and make it into multiple uh, cards out of that. So what I did was I cut this. I had a scrap piece from whenever I punched out the purple pieces. I had this scrap piece. So what I did was I thought, well, that would look really nice on here. So I cut out a piece of the inside of the envelope, like so, and made it so it would fit that square. Now, what I'm gonna do, I marked with a tiny little pencil line on here where that's going to go. And let me put another piece of scrap paper under here. I don't want to use ruin my pretty paper. I reuse my paper. And let's see here. So I'm going to put this on here. And this is the flower. And I'm going to do it in garden green. Instead of using the Stampin' Spot that came in the kit, I gift those to my customers. Um, I have garden green in my stamp pad. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna stamp this single flower in between those lines. So I'm gonna do one. And I'm gonna do one a little lower. I better not do it lower, it might show. Two and three. So there's my three flowers. Now what I'll do is I'll take a little bit of glue and I'm gonna use my fine tip glue on this. Um, I better erase those little lines because I don't want them to show. And then I'm gonna take this fine tip applicator I'm just gonna put a very thin line of glue all the way along here. If I miss a spot or two, it's okay. And I'll put a little there and there. So I have that on there. I'm going to put this on the edge and then I'm gonna press that down. So I have a framed piece with the three flowers in it. Isn't that pretty? Now, what can I do with that? Oh, well, I'm glad you asked. I have a blank card here, and I'm going to, oops, I didn't get that all the way to the top. I'm gonna to trim off a little bit of that because I missed it, didn't get it all the way to the top, but you know what, I'll never know. And then I'm gonna take this piece and put a little bit of glue around it and that's gonna go centered here at the top with white at the top and the bottom. And then at the bottom, I'm gonna put one of the purple oblongs that was part of our set. I'm gonna put that here in the middle. I like the liquid glue because it gives you a little bit of time to position it. And then remember we had the dimensionals in our kit. So I'm gonna take these dimensionals and I like using my pokey tool. 
And I'm just going to lift this up with three of the dimensionals. That'll be plenty to lift it. And I'm going to take off the backing. One, two, and three. And then I'm going to put this across that purple piece. And it says, you've been on my mind. That was part of the stamp set. Now, I got a little glue on my paper, so I'm gonna throw this out of the way. So there's another card. And how easy was that to do? And again, I used scraps from the kits. I'm gonna put a little glue under this corner because it seems to wanna lift up. And that must be where I missed a spot. But looks pretty. You've been on my mind. Now, if you wanted to, you could take that Wink of Stella and you could put a Wink of Stella on there where the glitter part is, uh, where the flower part is, and put a little shine in there. Now, you don't want to hit the green too much or it'll turn it green because Wink of Stella can also act as a watercolor pen. So you don't want to, and this is watercolor ink, so or water-based ink. There we go. So there's even another option. Now, I still have a lot of stuff left. I have my stamps that I have here on the blocks uh, still on here to reuse again, that big set that I showed you. And there's a couple more sentiments. I have the glue dots. I have the Stampin' Spot, which I'll give to a customer. And let me show you what else I have left. So I could sit here and make probably 10 or 15 more cards out of this, the envelope inside that we just cut. And I have other envelopes. I think there's five or six of them here. One, two, three, four, five, six of these. So I have some more of that paper to use. And these are ones that I haven't even used yet. And I have one, two, three full ones, and then I have a partial one and some scraps and another piece of envelope. This is another piece that could be used with some stamping in it. And I still have some of those oblongs in the purple. And I love that purple color. It's one of my favorites. So it gives you a lot of material to use in a lot of different ways. And it's only as limitless, it's only, you're only as limited <laughs> as your imagination will take you. And I start you off and give you some ideas. I'd love to see what you come up with and what you're making with these. Um, I also have additional dimensionals to use. I use those all the time. And I have some of these wood pieces that I hadn't used. So I'll use those on other cards too. So that's what's left of this card kit, and it's a great opportunity. You will love Paper Pumpkin. It's great for beginners, intermediates, and the experienced stampers because, like I say, the creativity that you can come up with by putting these things together is endless. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you'd like to sign up, please go to my website. Uh, you can go to my 24-hour set store at suestamp.stampinup.net. My email to reach me is suestamp1 at gmail if you have a problem or need some help, and I'd be happy to help you with that. So if, uh, like I say, if you have any questions or if you come up with some alternatives and you want to post them to my video, please do so. I'd, I'd be happy to see what you come up with. And until I get back with you again, happy stamping.